Man, this guy, <laughs> I am so proud of him. Man, dude, H-Town's got a new yoga teacher. H-Town, we bro, on the way. Thanks for giving it your all, blood, sweat, and tears. Bro, every time, bro. Woo. I had no other option. So that was amazing to see. You had structure, but it was fun. The music was legit. And you know, you got me to an edge. I mean, Woo. I totally like have my workout. For those people who say yoga is not a workout, come do a Juanitos class. Juanitos. <laughs> Inhale, feeling rising, roll the shoulder blades back. Exhale, auto mukha, left foot steps up, toes to fingertips. Big stride, inhale, rise up. Exhale, vinyasa, come all the way down, step it back and lower. Inhale, open your hands to the earth. Life isn't always a script I'd write, but I've come to understand that the toughest roles are often mine to play. Just like a hero stepping onto the stage, I know I'm the one to bring life to these scenes. There's only 18 days standing between the person I once knew and the yogi I aspire to become. To become a yogi is to embark on a profound journey, a journey of self-discovery. It's transformative, where one sheds the layers of the past to reveal the authentic self. It means stepping onto a sacred stage where breath and movement become a symphony of existence. A yogi is a spiritual warrior, finding strength in stillness and in grace. In every pose, it is to understand that life script is not fixed, but a dance of energies and we are both choreographers and dancers. Through dedication and practice, a yogi finds harmony within, aligning with the rhythm of the universe. Becoming a yogi is not merely adopting a role, but embodying a truth. It is the pursuit of serenity, compassion, and a deep connection with all life. It is a commitment to growth both physically and spiritually, and a willingness to explore the boundless depths of one's own being. In essence, to become a yogi is to embrace a way of living that transcends the mat. It is a philosophy, a state of being, and a path to enlightenment. It is the art of being fully present, finding peace amidst chaos, and realizing the infinite potential that resides within us all. It's kind of, it's kind of you, can, you feel the sensation of connection of your back, because usually when we breathe, we breathe like more here, and we're thinking about the you know, anterior portion of, of our breath, but when you connect with the Anabanda, you can feel something here. So you feel the connection in, in your in your back ribcage. In my yoga teacher training, I delved into the practice and study of yoga and its anatomy. It was a transformative experience that reshaped my understanding of the human body and its connection to the mind. Through rigorous study and hands-on practice, I gained a comprehensive understanding of yoga postures, alignment, and sequencing. This knowledge became the foundation of my ability to guide others in their practice. Additionally, the study of yoga anatomy provided invaluable insights into the physical mechanics of movement and breath. I learned about the interplay of muscles, bones, and breath in each pose, enabling me to teach with precision and safety. As I progressed through the training, I honed my skills in effectively communicating the principles of yoga and anatomy to others. This not only prepared me to lead classes, 
but also equip me to convey the benefits and importance of yoga to a wider audience. The training wasn't just about learning a set of poses, but about understanding the deeper philosophy and principles that strengthen the practice of yoga. It was a holistic approach that encompassed physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Overall, my time in yoga teacher training was an intensive and enriching experience. It equipped me with the knowledge and skills to not only teach yoga effectively, but also to share the profound benefits of this ancient practice with others. Yeah. He's talking money. He's talking money. Mads. That moolah. Mads, what's the play today? What, what are we the getting into? Is, we gonna teach? Yep. Check. We Check. gonna play? Check. Check. We gonna swim? Check. Check. We gonna beach? Check. We gonna eat? Check. We gonna live? Hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As the sun sinks lower in the Costa Rican sky, we carry the energy from our intense yoga sessions onto the black sands. It's not just about striking poses, it's about savoring these breathtaking moments, etching them into our hearts and minds. We're flowing with the rhythm of the waves, embracing every pose, every posture, creating memories that will last a lifetime. But when the sun takes a break, so do we. The fun doesn't stop when the sun goes down. We're taking our practice to the next level. It's all about finding balance on and off the mat and creating unforgettable memories that we'll cherish forever. Stay present, stay cool. Namaste. two at the beach we were family i mean we basically yoga family now yeah in the heart of Costa Rica, I embarked on a journey unlike any other, a cacao ceremony. Surrounded by the vibrant jungle and the whispers of ancient traditions, I delved into an experience that touched my soul. As I sipped the cacao, I could feel my being awakening, my senses coming alive. The texture, the bittersweet flavor seemed to unlock hidden emotions, guiding me on a path of self-discovery. I connected with the wisdom shared amongst us all, stories and the magic of this land. It was a union of past and present, a bridge to understanding the deep traditions of this place. This ceremony was a reminder of the power of nature and the bonds we force with others. It was a moment of reflection, gratitude, and reverence for the beauty of Costa Rica and the incredible souls I shared this experience with. I left that night with a heart full of gratitude, knowing that the memory of this cacao ceremony in Costa Rica would forever be etched in my soul. Believe it. In the midst of my yoga teacher training journey, one thing became abundantly clear, the power of consistency. Yoga had been my trusted companion long before, but during those intensive weeks of training, it became my anchor. 
Each day, as the sun kissed the horizon, I unrolled my mat with dedication. The consistency of my practice became the steady rhythm in a world of change. It was the compass that guided me through the intricate teachings and challenges of becoming a yoga teacher. With each breath, I found strength and resilience. The postures, once daunting, became like old friends, welcoming me with open arms. The asanas challenged me to push my boundaries, both physically and mentally. But it was in the quiet moments amidst the stillness of savasana that I truly discovered the essence of my practice. It was a time of self-reflection and opportunity to connect with my inner self and to nourish the spirit that was guiding me on this path. The consistency of yoga became the thread weaving through my teacher training experience. It taught me patience, perseverance, and the profound connection between the mind, body, and soul. It was a reminder that the journey of a yoga teacher is as much about self-discovery as it is about sharing the practice with others. In the end, I walked away from my training not only with the certification, but also with a deeper appreciation for the transformative power of yoga. It was a consistent practice that lit my way, and it continues to be the source of my strength and inspiration. In Costa Rica, our journey was made even more memorable by the incredible food and the dedicated staff behind it. The local flavors and exotic ingredients transform each meal into an amazing experience. From sunrise to sunset, we savored every bite, a true taste of Costa Rican hospitality. Yet it was the chefs and staffs who truly elevated our culinary adventure. Their warm smiles and passions for the craft enriched our experience making us feel like a part of their extended family. The food was exceptional, but it was their genuine care and dedication that made it unforgettable. In their hands, food became a symbol of the bonds we formed in this beautiful place. Costa Rica not only blessed us with its natural beauty, but also with the heartwarming flavors and the people who prepared them. Our journey was seasoned with gratitude, thanks to the food and staff who created an unforgettable memory. In the spirit of karma yoga, we gather on this pristine beach, Playa Hermosa, where the ocean whispers its tales and the black sands stretch out to infinity. Today, we unite for a purpose greater than ourselves. Our mats may be replaced with eco-friendly bags, our asanas with acts of care, and our sun salutations with commitment to the sacred earth. As we bend down to pick up each piece of waste, we understand that yoga is not confined to the studio. It's here amidst the seashells and the plastic that we've practiced selfless service. Together, we're not just cleaning the beach, we're nourishing our souls with the knowledge that every small act of kindness ripples through the universe. Like a tree firmly rooted in the sand, we stand tall in our commitment to a cleaner, more harmonious world. Each piece of garbage removed is a step towards a brighter future. As the day's work draws to a close, let's remember that yoga is not just about the poses, it's about finding balance within ourselves and with the world around us. Back to uh, the States. I mean, I have no doubt in my ability to teach classes. I was already teaching classes. I was filling in for people when they were sick all the time. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I, I love and live yoga, so, uh, you know, it's just a matter of getting the parts and pieces and trying to get them put together. Oh, we all do. Oh, shit. Everybody in single five lives. Everybody. Everybody. Oh, shit. It's up. All right, so 
Tonight is graduation night. Going to an all-white party. Uh, everybody's gonna look so nice, I already know that. I'm just really excited to see the vibes, the energy. It's been 17, 18 days of just high energy nonstop. So let's see how this is about to turn out. I'm expecting but nothing but good things. Let's get to it, yeah. What's up, bro? Stop it. Whoa, bro. <laughs> I need to leave. I need to leave. What's up? What's up? Glad to be there. Looking good. Thanks. Ooh, Apparently today. Sister. Oh my god. You're so you guys cute. look so cool. Sister. So cute. Oh, no. Dude, you're killing her. For me, I'm chilling. Dude, you look like you're chilling. Yeah, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Eating good. <laughs> I love it. It's a madness and badness. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. What are we wearing tonight? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I know I heard it on purpose. Oh, you look great. We're wearing our aloe top. Yep. Pajama pants. Very nice. We need to keep it like light and airy. Okay. For this heat. My flip flops because my other two broke. It is hot. It is what it is. All right. Um, Wait, you got more? Yes. What? I'm very excited. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a big accomplishment of mine. <laughs> Me too. I never thought I could do this, especially 10, what is it, 11 hours in the heat all day, every day. I mean, free outfit, the dinner outfit. Yeah, you gotta play, say. So. Yeah, look at look at this. We're, we're drinking red drinks. It's red drink. It's red drink. Red drinking an all. Drink. 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 Should not be allowed. They're testing us. They're continuing to test us. That's crazy. <laughs> really? How are you feeling? Love. Mmm, I love that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the married couple. Teach me your ways. Yogi, <laughs> congratulations. Very valid. We're changing really very shortly. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll get even more beautiful than I am right now. Mm. Damn. Damn. I like that. I like that. Uh, fries and a chicken salsa. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's, he's getting a can in a view. Mm. Congrats. I got napkins in here. Right. As you I said. Gotta protect the fit. Gotta protect, protect the fit. Oh, baby. <laughs> so today is the last day and honestly I'm at a loss of words there's a lot of emotions that I'm feeling all at once because I've managed to meet some amazing people that's become more than just friends a lot of people feel like extended family members um, I love everyone that's been a part of this retreat, from the people who participated in the yoga training, as well as the staff that's been helping me with food, accommodations, my Espanol. Really goes a long way, and it's not often you get to be around people with such positive, genuine energy. And there was a strong connection that was made amongst all of us. So, I want to thank I want to thank my good friend Jonah for putting this together and creating this space, an opportunity for us to basically meet. I honestly don't know where else I could be in the world to meet all of these incredible, amazing individuals, and so I'm just really thankful that Jonah has this yoga teacher training where all of us crazy, like-minded individuals can just realize like you know we're not alone there's other people that see the world the same way we do and just be excited to be around each other you want to get chuck real quick yo chuck yo you gotta say to the people bro you gonna miss us or what bro i'm it's a bittersweet moment right now i think uh all our skills and things we've learned today we're gonna sprinkle out all around the world, but 
I'm gonna miss everybody. Definitely a place in my heart for each and everybody that's here. And I look forward to <laughs> pulling that, pulling that. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. You know, <laughs> You know what time it is? <laughs> um, so with the footage that I've managed to capture over the last 18 days, I hope that you can see, I hope that what I've captured, you can feel the happiness. Uno, dos, tres. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Pura vida. Hey. 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 Come on, Yogi! Come on.